Ladies and guys who like having friends and want to make more of them, Andy here, author of the best Tinder guide on the internet, founder of KillYourInnerLoser.com. This is the Inner Winner Show. Let's fucking go. Those of you watching the video on YouTube can see I got my little friend over here. Those of you listening to the audio will have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, but let's talk about how to make friends. So you guys know that I spam all the fucking time. I talk about meetup.com as the best way that I've found of making friends. It's basically, if you're not familiar with it, meetup.com, it's a site with like, it's like a social network for making friends, basically. But you have like events or meetups as they call them. And you will go to these things. Sometimes they're just like a gathering of people to go on a hike. Um, sometimes it's like for a specific uh, hobby. Like there's like Dungeons and Dragons ones. There's board games. There's sports. Um, there's just like general meetups, like where you go to a bar and chat and meet people. There's trivia nights. There's philosophy groups. There's self-help groups, self-improvement groups. Um, book clubs, like there's basically everything that you could ever want. Uh, probably the best way to make friends, like online, especially if you're someone that has no friends. The whole point of this group is, or this website, I should say, is people go there when they have like no fucking friends, right? You're like a complete loner, or maybe you've moved to a city, maybe you've neglected friendships or whatever, you've focused on your career, whatever it is. You go to this website, you meet a bunch of other people who are also in a similar boat, you make friends. Easiest way to do it. What I found recently though is Bumble is also a great way of meeting, meeting and mating. I wonder if Bumble can help you with your speech. Bumble is also a great way of meeting people and making friends. Imogen and I, my girlfriend and I, we moved to this new city right now. We're in Brisbane, um, new city in Australia. We moved here like a couple of months ago and she didn't have any friends here. I already had one guy that I knew here, so it was like, it's fine. But for her, she was like, she knows no one, uh, new city, you know, intimidating, all that kind of stuff. First time she's moved out of her city, like where she lived. I've traveled a fair bit and moved different cities, so I'm used to it. But she was kind of like, how do I make friends? And so she went on Meetup, she made a, a few friends. But I had this weird idea that I'd heard in the past that Bumble has like a friendship section. So it's not just for dating. There's also like a separate area in the app that you can go into to make friends. And I kind of like half-heartedly said, you should give that a try. Like go on Bumble, see what this friendship thing is. So she gives it a go. And she's made like at this point in time, it's only been like a month. And she's already made like six friends. One of whom I would say like they're really good friends now. They've hung out like, you know, five or six times. They seem to be really fucking close. They got on well. I met this chick. She's pretty cool. Um, and it seems to be like a really easy platform to make it happen. It's like the dating version. It's just like a dating app, but for friends. And so you just basically rock up on there. Yo, hey, what's up? You know, I'm Andy. I'm into this shit. What are you up to? Do you want to grab a beer? And so any of you guys, <clears throat> this podcast is going to be super quick. But if you guys are like out there thinking, how do I make friends? Maybe you've tried meet up a little bit and you want to take it like you want to make it even easier. I would say from what I've seen so far, Bumble seems to be even easier. You literally just match with a, bun a bunch of people like based on, you know, likes and dislikes and shit. You chat to them for like two seconds. Yo, want to grab a beer? go hang out, see if they're cool. It's like a more efficient way of getting there. And from what Imogen's seen on her uh, Bumble, making friends, people on there seem more serious about making friends. Like, I mean, they are with meetups, you go to meetups, but a lot of people already have like an established friendship group when they're going to a meetup group. And they're basically just wanting like something interesting to do on a Friday night. They're not necessarily there because they don't have any friends and they want to make some. Bumble seems to be like, I've just moved to this new city or, you know, I've left university or whatever. And now I don't have my established friends. I want to make some more. Most of the people on Bumble seem to be like, I've moved to this new city. How can I make more friends? Those are like exactly the people that you want to make friends with, right? Like just normal fucking people who don't happen to have friends at this point in time from life circumstances or from moving. Bumble seems to be super efficient from that. So if you're wondering what to say on there, it really doesn't matter. Like, I don't want you guys to overthink this. I talk about like when you're hitting on girls, it really doesn't matter what you say. As long as you're not saying something fucking retarded, almost anything, like like people don't really care what you're saying. You know what I mean? It, it's more just like, can you make a bit of small talk for five minutes? Cool. Let's grab a beer. We'll chat in person. You don't have to be super smooth. You don't have to be, it, it's kind of like dating <clears throat> in a way. Like I'm going to give you permission to suck. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be awkward. That's perfectly fine. Most people are when they make friends, but 
any of you guys right now that you're at the point where you think like, I need some more friends or I need some guys that'll have my back, give Bumble a try. Also try and meet up because that's good for that as well. But give Bumble a try. Let me know how you go. If you want to use the dating or sorry, if you want to use the friendship section, it's it's basically a setting in the app. So when you install Bumble, when you make your profile, just change in the settings. There's like a thing that says, do I want Bumble dating or do I want Bumble? They call it BFF, best friends forever, fucking gay name, but the friendship bit, right? Switch it to that. Give it a go. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what you say to guys. Just batch with a bunch of dudes and be like, yo, man, like, what's up? And he'll say, hey, I don't fucking know. And you say, cool, let's grab a fucking beer. <laughs> like, it doesn't fucking matter what you say. Go fishing, go play some sports, go grab a beer, go chill somewhere, you know, go do something together. It really doesn't matter what you fucking do. You can even say like, yo, do you want to go to a fucking, I don't know, museum and fucking look at weird pictures together and fucking comment on the shitty art? Just grab a beer. That's probably the, honestly the easiest. Go grab a coffee or something and, and make friends. So if you guys try it, let me know how it goes. It's been an absolute game changer for Imogen. Like I said, she's made like six friends or something at this point in time. And it's just been super fucking efficient because she went to a bunch of meetups and you can make friends through there. And I'm still going to keep talking about meetup. But this just seems to be, like I said, more of like an efficient way of making friends because you're, you're looking for like one on one people. It's also a lot easier to screen over the app a lot of you guys who make friends and me too to be honest we're looking for other guys that are into like self-improvement like we want guys who want to be better who are working on themselves maybe they're going to the gym or something like that it's really easy to see that on bumble when you go to a meetup you kind of don't necessarily know what to expect until you get there you don't know what the people will be like you can kind of rig it in your favor by going to meetups that are already into self-improvement like there are philosophy groups uh there are self-improvement groups those ones are definitely going to have the type of people that you're probably looking for but on bumble it's easier because you can see their profile you can see their pictures if they talk about going to the gym um if they talk about losing weight if they talk about going i don't know fucking hiking any of those kind of things are usually going to be like self-improvement like indicators so to speak so go on bumble give it a go let me know how you go leave a comment below and then go crush your goals.